everyone, it's Heartless Paper here. You guys probably know me as Sophie. Today I'm going to be doing a speed draw while I talk a bit about LARP and my first experiences of it as a new player. So I should probably start by explaining what LARP is for those of you who don't play it. So the best way I can describe LARP is living another life. For that weekend you get to become a totally different person in this totally different world with different politics, magic, all these cool things, and you get to meet these really awesome people. There's lots of different things to love about live action roleplay for all kinds of people. For instance, some people really love the costume design and put so much effort into making these beautiful elaborate costumes that are just wearable and usable with pouches and pockets and it's stunning. Other people are really into the idea of trading with in-game currency and trading their resources for money and power and places in political seats, which is really cool to think about. There's also the battling aspect, where you take your LARP safe weapons and you literally go fight each other. I for one have really enjoyed learning to use a sword for the first time, and although I can't say I'm the best, it certainly is very fun. So by this point you're probably wondering about my character, who they are, what they do, what they specialise in. Well, <laughs> my name is Jana Avonovic Vardovic, and I focus in healing. My resource is a herb garden, and I really like taking the field and healing people. I love how I'm able to get involved and see all the action without having to put myself under too much stress and in too much danger, so I think a healer is really perfect for me. As for my nation, I'm from a place called Varushka, which focuses in staying away from the dark creatures in the forest and keeping on the right path. We're all about hospitality and family, and what I really love about my nation the most is how hospitable everyone is. I haven't met a bad person in Varushka, and I honestly say I've made so many friends and met so many wonderful people there, and I definitely think I picked the right place. Everyone seems to have a really interesting story and character behind them, and people really do make their characters their own. And even though I've only been to two events, I really do feel a part of the community, and I don't think I've ever had that with any other type of event, such as conventions. People I've never met would act like friends and family, because in-game, we have known each other years. It's just... In the real world, I have no idea who they are. And I think that's really unique. Something really special about LARP that I don't think you get with certainly anything I've experienced before. I certainly think if someone was struggling in the real world and could really do with some escapism, LARP would be such a solution. I mean, obviously it's not good to completely ignore your problems, but to have a place that's safe and a community that's so caring to look after you and that's so fun with so many different interests and is so creative, I, I think it's a wonderful thing. I'm honestly proud to say I do LARP and be able to explain it to people. And I kind of like that people think it's a bit weird, a bit out there, because I know that if they were to try it, they'd go, wow, this is something really different. Despite having such a positive experience of LARP, there are a few things I do find quite difficult. One of them being camping. The whole event is set around camping for three days, and despite having to pack all the comforts I can, I still hate it. I get cold very easily, and every time I've been, and every night, it's been freezing. The last time I went, I had a bit of cold, and by the end of the event, I was so much more ill. But saying that, even with being ill and full of cold, I did still enjoy myself, so I think that says something about the event. A piece of advice I would give everyone is pack plenty of blankets and a warm pair of socks, because even if you think it's kind of warm outside, the nights are so much colder. I also use public transport to get to the event, because I can't drive yet. And I have to say that trying to lug Kit on a bus, and then in a taxi, and then in a car, and so forth, and back and forth, isn't exactly easy. But really it is worth it, because when you get there, and despite the weather, and it being cold, 
you get to see your friends. You get to be in this unique experience where there isn't technology, but there's good food and there's good company. And that matters more than anything. And you'll come home feeling great, no matter what. So, to my friends and acquaintances at Empire Lab, thank you. Thank you for making the game fun and being so friendly and hospitable to everyone. I really can't wait to see you again at the next event, and I hope you've all enjoyed seeing my little speed draw of me drawing my character Yana. It's been a lot of fun, so thank you very much. If you'd like to see any more of my work, you can follow me on Instagram, or read my stories on Wattpad, or commission me on Etsy. See you again!